water main right here. Comes in, tees off. This goes to the sprinklers, which is out that way. This is your one inch water main. Pressure reducing valve. Relief valve, this comes up. Goes into softener or whatever the heck this is. Comes out, goes into the house. We're installing a Moen and Flow leak detector. And um, Moen recommends, it doesn't matter, you can put it before the softener or after, but I actually called them. And the guy said, and it really doesn't matter, but he says, put it on the house side versus the, the meter side. But it definitely has to go after the PRV. But I'm just gonna put this sucker right here. Uh, the flows are water resistant. They are designed to be installed outside. You gotta obviously keep the electrical from getting wet. But he's gonna have an electrician come back and hook that up. Uh, but the good news is there's a pretty thick eave right here. So, um, but you can read about them. They can get rained on. They're approved for outdoor or indoor use. So we're just gonna chop it in right there. No big deal. Feels like Type M, one inch Type M. Sometimes when you press on the older Type M, it'll leak because the Pro Press will crush the, the copper too much and it'll, it'll just barely leak. So, let's hope it doesn't leak. Um, okay this so this is your power right here that plugs in and there's a little rubber grommet right here it's a little rubber and this this plugs in far beyond this thing so if it you know if it does get rained on it's not that big of a deal but then you have these, <clears throat> you have these unions, female on this side, and then these little rubber washers that go in here to create the seal. And then with all products like this, direction of flow. So these little rubber O-rings go right here. Okay, so this is actually going to end up being upside down because of the direction of flow. Flow goes up into this and then it goes down into the house. So as you can see the direction of flow is all over this thing. that I gotta cut that copper back even more well okay or no maybe I don't I 
could just pull this up. Oh yeah, I'll just do that. Man, it might not even have to use a coupling. Hmm. Nah, I gotta use a. It's gonna be. I'm gonna be all crooked, dude. I gotta. I gotta cut this a little more and use a slip coupling. It's all right though. Much better. Those are evenly spaced. All right. Right like that. <clears throat> cool man. Cool man cool. Cool man cool. I'll shove this thing in the back like that. So it's protected by that a little bit and the eave so it won't ever get wet, but like I said, it can get wet. It's not a problem all right where shall we start how about down her surprise to be honest with you and if it does leak then I'll have to cut it out and sweat it all which I probably could have done anyway alright alright here goes nothing folks press does leak it's not like it doesn't squirt out it's uh you'll see just a little drip oh my gosh it is it is dude oh maybe not maybe not that might just be residual water How annoying would that be, dude? That's just, okay. No, it's not. That was just residual water. But that's exactly what it does. You won't see it dripping or anything, but you'll just see a little, tiny, the littlest stream. That's just residual water. All right. And honestly, that's my job's done. The electrician will have to come and install an outlet. And then all you do is plug this in right here. Just plug it in right there. And that's it. And then you have to set up this app. 
but uh thank god no leaks that was really thin copper it's type m for sure really thin <laughs> 